<laughs> yes, Mr. B has finally lost it, boys and girls. And I've turned into a chimp. No, actually, it is the green list pretest video, and it is Soundwaves Unit 27. And the reason I'm monkeying about is because the sound this week is ooh, as in ooh, 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 or as in book. Okay, the middle sound in book. And those are all of the words that we're going to be looking at today. So let's get started on the pretest. And the first word, which is couldn't. I couldn't think of a better way of starting my video. Couldn't. Next word is wouldn't. Wouldn't you like to be on holidays right now? I know I would. Wouldn't. Next word is shouldn't. You shouldn't eat lots of lollies before you go to sleep. Shouldn't. Next word is unhook. You might have to unhook your blazer from the hook. Unhook. Next word is wooden. That chair is wooden. It is made of wood. Next word is bulletin. The newsletter is a type of bulletin put out each week. Bulletin. Next word is butcher. We bought some meat from the butcher. Butcher. Our next word is childhood. During your childhood, I hope you have lots of fun. Childhood. Next word is footpath. You should always walk on a footpath and not on the road. Footpath. The next word is <laughs> kookaburra. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Kookaburra. Next word is lamb's wool. The lamb's wool jacket was very warm. Lamb's wool. Lots of animals seem to be jumping into this pretest today. Next word is neighbourhood. Do you have lots of friends in your neighbourhood? Neighbourhood. Next word is pudding. I love pudding with custard on a hot, on a cold winter's night. Pudding. Next word is sugar. Pudding usually has lots of sugar in it. Sugar. Next word is understood. Have you understood what I have said? Understood. Next word is wolf. There's another animal. The wolf howled at the moonlight. Aroo! Wolf. Next word is driftwood. The driftwood washed up on the beach. Driftwood. Next word is cushion. It's nice to have a cushion to sit on. Cushion. Our next word is likelihood. What's the likelihood that it will rain today? Likelihood. And the final word this week is bulldozer. The bulldozer knocked over the building. Bulldozer. Right, well, here come the spellings for all those words. Stay tuned. Right, so first thing up the top here, we've got our three contractions with the apostrophes. One, two, three. Make sure you got those. O-U-L-D is a funny way of, saying, of spelling ooh in a word. O-U-L-D there in all of those words. Most commonly, it's double O, just like in unhook, in wooden. Now, a lot of these words, you will notice that um, they are either compound words or they've got prefixes added or suffixes added. So here's a compound word here, footpath. Childhood there, hood is a suffix, I suppose you'd say. There's one here as well, likelihood. Uh, driftwood, there's a compound word there. So there's lots of um, 
bits being put together in these words and uh, you just need to be able to spell the bits and then you put them together. Kookaburra. Let's look at the ending. It sounds a lot like a school that we know and love. Yes, that's right. In a borough. Okay, they're both Aboriginal words, obviously, aren't they? There you go. And uh, look, probably uh, the other tricky, the trickiest word probably is likelihood here because likely, you normally have a Y on the end there, but change it to an I when you add that suffix on the end. Well, there you go, boys and girls. Enjoy your spelling this week and have a lot of fun and I'll see you next week. Bye.